sitting here down in the metal mind cap. You know, listen and interrupt the uh, non judge metal podcast. You just don't do it. But back to something that doesn't suck. Thanks for checking out non judge metal. Be sure to check out the Facebook and Instagram. And be sure again to check out the Star City Punk Cast. Also on Facebook and Instagram. Leave me alone. They got me by the fucking hand. Welcome to non judge metal podcast. I'm James McGruff. We're deep in the ruins of the metal mind cap. I got the dapper gentleman Leo here. What's up? Nick. What's happening? And the angry Gordon. Get some more sucks. And hey. fuck you, the angry Gordon won't be with us this week. <laughs> when Faith No More comes on, you shut the fuck up. They actually like gave us some feedback, gave us some likes and shit. How many times you shared any of the podcast shit? Step up you your game. Again. And I appreciate that on their page here and that thing. I thought they Thank might you. like that because they some more doesn't fucking suck. Artistic words as always from the Angry Gordon. Gonna be real excited this week, but before we lose ourselves in our show, before we lose ourselves in a story of how Angry went and saw uh, Insomnium on Friday night and got to meet those guys, he's gonna tell you all about it. But before we do that, losing yourself. It sounds like something. You were talking to me about earlier this week, Nick. Can you can you just go into this right now? We got to be judgmental right off the yeah. start. Listen, saliva, saliva. Like I'm not gonna take up for him. I believe it was McGruff earlier this week said something about them being still a pretty 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 tolerable rock band, and uh, they redid Eminem's "Lose Yourself" off the Eight Mile soundtrack, which was how many years ago? Uh, Ten, twelve. It's been a while. That's okay. Been, I, I, Eight High mile, school. yeah. Eight High mile, school. eight mile came out like in like two thousand two. That's about seriously. 14. So and um, yeah, and it was already a hit, and it already had a guitar in it. Like it just seems, it seems they missed the fucking mark there. And I hope, I hope the world can see that saliva isn't what they used to be. So sp- pretty much what we're saying is, if uh, if you want to spend a few minutes of your time nauseated, sick, and unhappy with uh, a lot of things, go check out saliva, saliva's version of Lose Yourself by Eminem for no reason whatsoever. I cannot promote that. I, I honestly didn't mean anything. I just said, please don't listen to me. The, uh, the next subject is your Insomnium show, man. Let's go ahead and crank into that. So uh, Friday night, mm-hmm. why don't you tell everybody what you got into? One of the best sounding shows I had ever heard. Ever. Uh, and like I said, I'm not the biggest Insomnium fan. I, I honestly only like I haven't really been that exposed to them. Only like a few songs so far. But everything that I've heard, I really liked. And Friday night when I went to, you know, I couldn't hear the first song until the end, I think, that came out and played While We Sleep. Yeah, that's one of the ones I heard. That's that uh, single. It's got that really, really good video. It's a uh, very high production quality, man. Like, it's absolutely worth checking out if you, if you like that uh Power metal, symphonic metal sound is uh, Insomniums While We Sleep, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead and continue yeah, my best. honestly the only song that I knew. You know, I wasn't very familiar with them when I went and seen them, but I knew they were, you know, metal enough to drive an hour away to go see. And sorry, I just got interrupted. Hold on, you have to cut this out. That's oh, what. So, anyways, it was it was good enough. Wait, to did, drive an hour away to go. Hold, hold on, I I don't mean to. Uh, before we talk about cuts, let me ask you: Did you literally tell her not to interrupt you doing this, and then she wait five minutes into your insomnium story, and then walk in and interrupt you doing this? Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? No. But I know what I say about that. That's a big wet fart. Juice. No, we can say whatever we want. To shoot you wet. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? We can tell her whatever we want. She just won't listen. Yeah. Now I remember what it's like to have a girlfriend. Yeah. I can't say much. She went to something with me. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's that's the bad thing. You get you get those kind of bonus points, and then you just you know you turn a brownie point into an actual shit brownie point the next day when you don't you know listen and interrupt the. Uh, non-judgmental podcast you just don't do it we're sitting here down in the metal mine shaft it's it's a big deal for us and here you here you come trying to give us a nice review on insomnia and we're just interrupted i just i'm heartbroken sad in his heart i already gave her 
I already gave her her kiss goodbye, and here she is trying to give me another, knowing I'm busy. Yeah, well, tell her she needs five across the eyes if she's going to interrupt the non judgmental podcast. Damn it. Some girlfriends do you that bother you? <laughs> five, like a. Anyways, insomnia. Out. I can't knock her too much. She was there with me. <laughs> she, uh, she helped out a lot. She drove my drunk ass home. Oh, I, 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 say, I say drunk, but, you know. I mean, I wasted. I had four beers, so. That's my way of being drunk. Four wow. beers. But, four beers. Anyways, they, uh, Insomnia was, Insomnia was incredible, guys. Uh, I, I highly suggest you go listen to them more than you say you have. Dude, I saw oh, the, I saw the video with the pictures. I saw the video with the pictures, and it's just going back and forth in the museum, I believe. Um, I didn't fucking like it. I didn't like, I didn't much, like, appreciate, really, the sound frame that they were, like, it doesn't seem fucking metal to be honest with you it's kind of just hard rock in my eyes at least that particular video i think it was you that shared it to the page it was right so what's the deal with that that song because like that that didn't seem like it had really testicles and balls to, to prove that that's metal as fuck so that's know. actually the while she sleeps video that's like the symphonic metal video on it really but yeah like man i swear i think you just need something i think nick needs something just heavier like, uh, yeah. Well, hold on, you know. Yeah, I go. can't hear those keyboards while I see them. It was just, like I said, it was it was like they were playing in someone's basement. And I think they came out extra, just stronger. It was louder. It was more guitars and more bass and more singing. And uh, like I've mentioned the band before was Bellacore. Yeah, and, that's pretty I good. believe that's how you say their name, but that's kind of what it reminded me of, and it it, it was so good. It, you couldn't hear the keyboards, you know. I couldn't tell what song was what. Just every song was metal, and mm. you know, there was probably only thirty people there. I always love those little intimate shows. We were actually talking about that right before we came into uh, into the mine shaft today. Uh, we brought up. Um, I actually saw Six Feet Under here locally, and they only had like 30 or 40 people there at it, man. And uh, it was kind of back in their prime, man, like they're at Maximum Violence era, and that shit was killer. Like, uh, it was a good time, and they just, they put on the same show that I, I would expect from them, you know, playing in front of thousands, man. It's always cool to see, you know, like a band just they embrace that passion rather than, you know, be worried about a check, you know. Are they still together, Six Feet Under? Six Feet Under, I believe so. Yeah, that's Chris, Chris Barnes' is, is project. Might have to check I, into it. Might be my own homework. They like to uh, homework. they like to do a lot of covers for a death metal band. They like to go through those old rock songs like ACDC and shit like that, and just fucking death metal the shit out of them. Maybe they try to hit up the roof. I think they have a whole album dedicated to covers. They have like two or maybe three of them dedicated to covers. Now come on now. Is it? Yeah. Uh, two full albums dedicated dedicated to covers. Yeah. As long as you got two that's, of that's, your that's albums cool. before that, like I wouldn't have a problem with it. But like if that's all you uh, do is other people's songs, like they have a uh, shit ton of albums like of okay. their own shit too. Yeah, but they they've done those. But uh, dude, angry, I gotta thank you for that insomnium story, man. If you guys um haven't um if you're listening, you haven't checked out our Facebook page, go check that out, man. Click on a like and and check out the picture he took with him, man. It's a picture of uh our own uh, angry Gordon sporting his Necro Goblicon gear, uh hanging out with the band Insomnium down there in Panama City. So that's that that's pretty fucking cool. Metal um, as fuck. It's always always metal as fuck. You always get to meet, you know, somebody who's out there driving their passion and, and spreading that metal music and that's what we all love. But uh speaking of someone who's not spreading the metal music in a way that is constructive, Gene Simmons once again was back on the news this week, fellas. Sir Donald Trump of metal. He, he is the really Donald is. Trump of metal. That's uh, fucking excellent. That is like, good. The, the, what's what's the Donald <laughs> of metal doing today? Like <laughs> this week in what's Gene he Simmons, done going to say this time? Yeah. Um. So so far, yeah. I mean, he's already you know tried to. He doesn't regret you know uh, trade trying to trademark the fucking devil horns, the asshole. But um, he didn't correct. And uh, he thinks that you're not an artist if you can't you know uh, read uh, music at the same level that uh. You know, a, a composer does. Like so, you. you know, for for obvious reasons, we fucking don't like him. But uh, this week, uh, just short story, compared himself to Christ and told it, told them, I would trademark the air you breathe if I could. And I would crucify you if I could. Yeah. 
Is that too much? I'm sorry. I no, it's not too much. How can you, how can anyone like this man? Like every picture you see of him, he's got his fingers crossed in that weird habit, looking like a goddamn villain from like a '70s superhero comic. He just he he just looks like an asshole. His voice is pompous and arrogant. I mean, it's just and every week. I mean, this is starting to become like a, like a theme. I'm not making this up, just so I have something to to gab on about. Seriously, like the air you breathe. He would trade more. The air you breathe. It. Yeah. He would yeah, take it, right. and he would expect us to pay him for oxygen. Kind of like the Lorax. Movie. I don't blame him. You don't blame him. You agree with Gene Simmons? You took that story from Lorax. That like, yeah, we need to be able to price and tax this 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 air that people breathe that they need. We need to tax that and make people fucking pay for it. So, so you, yeah, you, you think that that Gene Simmons should be able to fucking steal our air like a supervillain? Dude's worth three hundred million dollars. And he has every right to be an asshole. No. He wants to be. Fuck well, right, he may have a right to be an asshole. I yeah, I, I can kind of understand. Like, if you have a lot of money, you kind of have like carte blanche to be kind of a dick. Eh, somewhat makes sense. But in the same regards, man, like. <laughs> you can't really think that he should have the right to steal our air. Like, do you think he should have three? Three hundred million dollars. So you think he should have three yachts instead of two? Piss you off. <laughs> I would be doing piss you off. Oh man. Well, Adam Carolla actually considers this to be fuck me money, where I can actually, I've got the money to where I can fucking hurt you, and this might hurt me a little bit, but it's gonna hurt you so much more because I got that much money. So that's fuck me money. I'd buy Ferraris and just set them on fire in front of like fucking people's houses. Yeah, Angry like Gordon, the Martin Shkrell of the non-judgmental oh, podcast. Shit. Just, wanted to just, just, real... just wanted to just fuck people over like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Is it, Like, are y'all familiar with who Martin Shkrell is? Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. who he is? He's the one. Oh, uh, that's the guy. Um, no, I'm, you go ahead and explain Okay, no, nah, yeah, there was a, um, what was it called? What are those things called? Fucking, it's a vaccine. Yeah, it was, it was the, a vaccine. Um, it was like a $15 vaccine before he ended up getting the uh, the copyright for it. For AIDS. And this fucking it's dude. AIDS medication. But this dude ended up bumping the price up to being like $1,500. No, it, was, it went from like $13 to $750. Seriously, like a 560% increase. Just because research and development, and then and then Wu Tang Clan recorded like a like a like an album that no one was ever going to hear except for whoever bought it, and it was going to be like a million dollar like donation or auction right. or whatever to get this thing, like you yeah. know like a huge amount of money to get this like only one ever record and produced, and then they deleted all the masters. It was like a big event thing they did, and this rich fucking cocksucker who just pissed everybody off with the Ace thing was like, hey, I bought that Wu Tang album, it's just going in my vault, clank. Be 100% honest. Like, really dude, he's, he's just a fucking piece of shit. It's so goddamn funny. When no, you look takes, at him, he looks at he looks like a piece of shit. Dude, he takes like pleasure in yeah. being the villain. And he tells like, you that it's. He was, it, I think he was on Vice News not too long ago with an interviewer. Like, yeah, I don't really. He's know like him a real Dr. life Evil. Lex Luthor with no alien to fight. Like, True. it's fucking. It's 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 honestly just pathetic and sad. He just wants to go and say fuck everybody. Well, he can't now. Now he's in jail. Yeah. For what? Uh, I think he got uh, uh, convicted of securities fraud, and he was trying to do appeal, and he was actually waiting on a sentence. And I'm not, don't quote me all on all this, yeah, but he posted something thought. online, like telling That's like his people to go rip out a lock of Hillary Clinton's hair, and they were just like, if you're going to incite shit like that using your social media for that kind of power, they revoked his bail, so now he's actually sitting in jail until his like actual sentence starts. Like, dude, dude's a fucking, he's an idiot. So Real time. Well, they got him. Yeah, they yeah. found something. Like, he pissed off enough people where they were just yeah. like, we're going to find some way. That's you ain't rich enough to get out of all your trouble, buddy. I was about to say. Are y'all trying to say that Hillary isn't Somebody reptilian? <laughs> and now, we'll get on the reptile people Sorry. on the reptile people episode. That's right, too. But, uh, yeah, like, y'all, so... Is it what? Okay, no, we'll just train it. Before we tangent out of this, let's just, we'll repeat one more time. In the news this week, Gene Simmons is a piece of shit. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, something else. I think Angry Gordon will like this. Angry man. It sucks. Yep. So no point in even telling you what I was about to say because it already sucks. Angry Gordon said, "This has been non-judgmental and fuck you." That's what's important is the whole point of trying to be non-judgmental. Sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes you hear something you absolutely get mad. All right, so back to the show. Still want to mention what? There's a couple shows coming up. Yeah. And, uh like to have a friend to go with and if anybody were to do it. Angry Gordon's starting to sound like Angry like Gordon. Oh, they're sick. Are you 
said lowly. You said you didn't sound very angry at that. You said you weren't very clear. So say that again, clear. Say that again, clear, and be a little angrier about it. Maybe people <laughs> might listen to you. I'm not angry. I guess like Will said, I'm more I'm lonely. Lonely Gordon this week. We got Lonely Gordon this week. Lonely Gordon. And Lonely Gordon's asking. Got no metal friends. You got no you metal. Metal friends. people. Got no metal friends. Horseshit. That's horseshit. And you, as metal fans out there who might hear this, have a responsibility to him to to contact him on our Facebook and say, "Angry, I will allow you to buy me a ticket to a metal show. I will allow, allow you, you to buy me a ticket." To go with me. Yeah, you get to go. You get to go. He, you might enjoy his company. I do on occasion. So if you hear him out and you hear his plea, and you want Angry Gordon to come back to you, do something about this Lonely Gordon, because fr- quite frankly, we can't stand him. So please. Let's go smoke blunts with bands. Smoke. Or bother them. Yeah. Either. He'll provide all that stuff too. Unless it's Born of Osiris. Unless it's Born of Osiris, then he won't go. He'll just stay home and have a fucking right. pork chop dinner. God damn it! How did you skip the... We're not going back into it. We got uh, new releases coming up. We were uh, we were talking about... Uh, Nick found a kick-ass one this week, man. I checked out a little bit of it, but I haven't got that much into it yet. Uh, but apparently he's jammed the whole thing out. Uh, what was that again? A sufferer. Sufferer. I don't know what the album is called, though. I can't remember. I think it might just be self-titled, but it's chapter 1 through 10. I thought so. Yeah, it's like chapter 1 through 10 is like the song, the titles of the song. Right. But here's the difference, and I think that this is kind of the also a part of the non-judgmental mission. Like, we're from a generation where we didn't have the digital downloads and shit. Like, I remember recording cassette tapes and shit off W. I think it was uh, ROV when they would play, like, the new rock. I think, uh, didn't they have, like, a local, local shit? I don't know. Yeah. But, like, you would listen I'm to, like, sure. all this shit. And, like, be able to actually put an album on and just press play. Just press play and listen to the whole thing. I'm not talking about that Aerosmith shit. Like, that whole album, My Eyes Kind of Suck. And Dude Looks Like a Lady, I think, was actually on that particular album. Just press play. He's just saying just don't press play on that one. That one, right? Because Aerosmith is not metal. I've no, seen them right. nine times. I will they're remember. Rough. Living on the, the Edge is shit. fucking good, though. Somebody needs to do a metal I'm fucking cover. Bad, but they're rough. Rough. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I like that. Not that one. 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 The one that came out looked like Eat the Rich and like Living on the Edge and all that shit. Pink? No, not that one. Not that one. Get a grip. Get a grip. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But Suffer, man. Suffer is definitely something to check out. All the albums. Um, I checked out a little bit of this, man. It's uh, some technical death metal from Canada. Uh, Archspire. You guys heard of these these guys? Mm-hmm. Anger, you heard of Archspire? That was interesting. Um, it's been classified as so heavy it'll rip your face off. Uh, technical death metal. I mean, without Hold me on. having to get into absolute zero, you know, minute details of it, if you like technical death metal, it's, it's right up your alley. Just a... Giving this them is a, a guarantee. Moment. What's the name again? It's called Arch Spire. Definitely check it out. Arch Spire. Like, It'll be fire. on the show. No, metal. Spire. Like S as in Sam, P as in Paul, I E R. I R E. Sorry. Arch Spire. You know what's pretty cool about this podcast, though? What's Guys, that? I go back and listen to it. You know what I do? What What do you do? Like, I listen to every band that we mention on this thing, and I put it on the Metal Mentions playlist on YouTube and shit. So, like, yeah. you just check it out. Just, like, hit that. Actually, actually, at the end of the video, there's a link that's posted on every one of the videos that goes straight to the Metal Mentions playlist. So you guys can check it out, man. Anything if you're that watching. you hear on this show, you can find there and show that some love for God. Hey, here we go. Yeah. October 29th. We got. Hey, P.E. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Hey, go November ahead. 4th, Cannibal Corpse. Who wants to go? You ain't shitting on me on that head PE, because I'm, no, I'm going to be honest. I like some head PE, man. That's what I'm saying. Go fuck yourself if you don't like head PE, because blackout. Uh, where's, where's the power button? Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Right. This has been non judgmental. This has been non judgmental. This has been non judgmental. Now, I mean, I'm trying not to. Like, I know a lot of people might shit on me. A lot of people don't like head PE. That's cool, but I do like them. And I'm not going to crap on them a little bit. But What other bands giving away a joint? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing right now, man. Head P's giving like away a free shit. joint for buying their single. It's in legal states. That's what it's about. In legal states, states. Yeah, 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 of course. 
but you can buy a single. Yep. You buy it, and it comes with a a, di a joint. Yeah. yeah. It's it's a it's a little fly, wrapper fly. with the digital code inside, and it happens to be a joint side too. Ten bucks, isn't that cool? That's cool as shit. It's cool, right? But let me find out. They put a filter on the end of that joint. Y'all seen this shit? There's a new thing on the West Coast where they're putting filters. Like they have their own filter that they buy, like little small filters, probably about a fucking uh, maybe maybe two and a half fucking maybe five centimeters long or some shit like that. It's a filter it's that a they roll. It's a thing because everything causes cancer according to California. Have you seen this? So if they put a filter on that, fuck you had pee. You've been around long enough that you know that's a game. I'm going to say I'm gonna say they probably don't put a filter. I'm going to bet they don't. And if you can answer that for us, let us know. Thank you. But just flat out, yeah, I think that's a cool idea. Right. But yeah, these filters on joints things you're talking about, I'm not ready to get into that type of witchcraft. No, the, a lot of people will put just like little... Um, Maybe if it's cardboard like pieces at the end, but that's just to make sure you don't eat shit. Because it, it, it's how the cones come. All the cones have those little cardboard tips at right. the very end. And uh, that's when you pack like that, though. That's not yeah, I mean you right. definitely ain't getting ripped. Another uh, new release uh, this week was that that Cannibal Corpse song that came out, the uh, Code of the Slashers, right? Yeah. Uh, pretty interesting video. Yeah, kick-ass little video, man, like a mini ho miniature horror film. Pretty boss. And uh, back to what Angry was saying, he says that. Uh, Cannibal Corpse is coming to his hometown, and if you guys want to hit him up, he might buy you a ticket, man. He'll pick someone to buy a ticket with, so hit Angry Gordon up on the uh, on the non-judgmental Facebook page and just badger the shit out of him with insults until he takes you to see Cannibal Corpse. But, um... Go see Cannibal Corpse. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Go with Angry Gordon and ruin his day. Steal his wallet. All right. No, no, yeah, and he's got a lady, so he's it's not, not you know, he, like, chicks, you can't apply it, too. He's not trying to... You know, he's not trying to. He's not trying to take take a take a nasty yeah. thing. Are you allowed to take girls? I'm assuming a female fan can hit you up. Uh, Did you clear that with the old lady first? Uh, 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 trying to think the smartest way to answer this. <laughs> Well, you're gonna have to because we're not we're not cutting it out. <laughs> and I've already said you could, so you might have just boxed yourself in. That'd be false advertisement. Yeah, we don't do that here on Non Judge Metal, no, and I'm not paying for a trip to Florida, so that's on you, bud. Like the thrift and nickels, they say it's free. I ain't fucking yeah. buying it anymore. Now we're saying to the ladies that the angry Gordon's willing to go to a show, but he's not trying to you know pull any funny business here. So we're not we're, we're letting that be clear. Yeah, but did you clear this with the old lady first? Because it could be awkward. He's talking about being lonely. Uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't right? think about oh, women. Lonely, <laughs> but I, mean, <laughs> I didn't about think it. about <laughs> women. I just don't. I just got a good feeling. There ain't no women listening to our show. <laughs> I don't believe that. We've got hit up by female fans. Right, we we like we're not sponsored, but we definitely. We'll see, I guess. Yeah, we definitely. We push the Star City Punk. Yeah, we push this. We push it. And it's, we push the Star City Punk cast, and it's run by two friends of mine, both females. We got female fans that have uh, hit us up talking about interviews. We're hoping to do. Are you we, a misogynist? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Nah, he's definitely not misogynist, but uh, I don't. I think he stoned and didn't clear this with the old <laughs> missus before he started throwing out. He just hey, thought, he someone just hit me up. Random dude was gonna be like, "Yo, bro, I'll go to that concert." That's what was going through his mind. Do what we need they, to amend this to? Uh, what if she sounds like a dude? No chicks allowed. Uh, I know. I know she won't be listening, so I think we're okay. <laughs> okay, so anyone apply? Anyone apply? Like challenge accepted. And if it's a woman, just be prepared because the old lady will probably be there too. Then it'll be real awkward. I love this. I'm into drama, at least a little bit. I watch Law and Order and shit. Yeah, see, he's into drama. He likes Law and Order. So, speaking of drama and uh, something that uh, I don't like personally, uh, Nuclear Blast Records released Symphonic Gothic Metal's Cradle of Filth's new record. Uh, it's um, I don't want to talk about it, but it's uh, it's it's. It's not my it's not my thing. I think it's absolutely too fucking cheesy. And I just don't like it. So, but, you know, they got a lot of fans. Hey, whatever. I just don't get what they're listening to. What's that? Fan. Tell me Gore's a fan of that. They've been around for a long time. So we got to, like, trust me. All right, how do they stay around with that type of vocalist? 
like without change and eventually and, and like because apparently somebody does like it but like that's fucking incredible how like a talent of the band is but the vocalist is just god awful I don't okay. even understand it I understand that that's a good question he just asked you you know how how how's a good band stay with a bad vocalist but my question to you is how are you going to say you like Cradle of Filth but not Slayer I'm just kidding man I was just all right. I just needed a moment of silence to shit off them. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. They, you know, you're right. They have been around a long time, but I don't think it's because they're great. And this is me being Judge Metal, man. I think, I, it's, I think it's gimmicky, man. I think it's gimmicky. And I like gimmicks. So, do credit where credit... It's whatever. Do credit where credit's due, but I, I, I fucking just never liked anything they've ever put out. So. Isn't it just kind of like fucking manufactured American black metal type shit? Like, it seems like the Europeans... They're, like they're, you said, they burn churches and shit. They're from they, England. They are. Yeah, Cradle like Filth is from England. Yeah. Danny Filth is from England. Yes, they absolutely oh, are. Okay, I didn't know Danny was. Like, I figured he was like one of these American turnouts and shit. That they're just not interesting enough for me to want to follow, but I know they're from because I've seen documentaries that had a lot of friends into them, and Damn. they released some fucking terrible horror film that all these people I know kept watching and oh. saying how good it was, and I was like, you realize this is crap. And you're just liking it because you're biased towards this band. Like I understand, I get that way that that way too about things, dude. The old Guar fucking home videos were right. fucking hilarious. I used to watch those as a kid. They weren't that great, but I still thought they were great when I was younger. I love Guar. I'm not going to completely crap on that. People have their own reasons for liking what they are, but I'm just saying, in my opinion, Cradle get, Filth gets five smelly diarrhea farts out of five smelly diarrhea farts. Uh, but back to something that doesn't suck. Mastodon put out a new EP just six months after they released a kick-ass record. I mean, how, how can you not love that? Did you hear about the new Mastodon EP there, Angry? You dick? Yeah, honestly, uh, I'm glad they did. Yeah? Uh, I don't know if you guys listen to the radio or... No. I, mean, I listen to a lot of, I guess it's called Music Choice on the TV, cable television. No, we listen. And it's, they, they play a lot of Mastodon they play that song Steam Breather. Oh, dude, that Steam Breather off Emperor. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great I, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm, I'm probably sick of that song. I love it. I love that fucking song. It's a different type of battle. Like I don't know. I, I may have listened to that album way too many times. And just, I'm over that album. That the whole part of it just got boring to me. You know what I like about Mastodon? Um, and, and like... I've listened to this new EP, and it's the same thing. Everything they put out has its own identity. Like, every record they put out is almost a completely different sound from the last one. And I really, I like that, because they somehow t somehow maintain that consistency. But it's also, e each one's very different. And uh, if you go you back to listen to I want to know? Sure. What's a band you never got tired of? Like... Think about this really hard now. We're not allowed to talk what about it band? anymore because we talked about it too much as is. Seriously, I'm just done with it. Like, everything no, in the I, past. I mean, like, just metal. I mean, anything. You guys don't know. I know it's gay, man. You picked this. What? Who would I pick? Uh, I can't think of the name of Joe Blaine. That means you don't know. <laughs> that does. That, that's exactly right. That means you don't know. If you can't oh my God! Right now, that means you really don't know. You guys know what band I'm talking about. What band is he totally gay for that no one gives, gives a shit about? <laughs> yeah, sure. what band am I totally gay for that no one gives a shit about? I fuck Faith, with no Faith No More. No, I fuck with Faith No More. I just don't. Like <laughs> huh? Is that what you're talking about, Faith No More? Yeah. Get no one gives dude. a shit about. They dude. shared our shit on their Facebook. Like, dude, they, they, no, they, no, yeah. no. Hold up. Oh. They renewed. They they did a, a reunion tour two years ago, and that shit sold out like in hours. Yeah, nobody. Like, dude, there was no way for me to get fucking tickets to that thing, dude. They like, like you, you're bullshitting. Completely. Quit playing. Uh, I'm, I'm never gonna go buy a Faith No More album. Well, that's you, but you can't say nobody gives a shit about them because they're they're fucking they're fucking legendary. You want it out. But you can't have it, Angry. <laughs> you can't have that one. You cannot have yeah, faith no more. People give a shit about that. Well, I can keep it. You're right. This I am gay for faith no more because faith no more is the best. This is if faith no more had... I'm not going to say what I was about to say. 
Say it. I'm not gonna say it. It's very say it. Bad. I know where you're going. I was gonna say it. <laughs> if it had a dick, I'd suck it. There it is. One of those. Ones. What? You know what? We will talk to you next time. This has been non Just Just think about it. We do this all the time, and he pieces together like fucking coherent things out of this day off. We got a good producer. non metal. Be sure to share us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.